Hello, I'm Sarah Thompson. I am one of three curators of Japanese art at the Museum of Fine Arts Boston. For this show at the Seattle Art Museum, we have a selection of paintings, woodblot prints, and illustrated books by Hokusai and artists who were influenced by him. And then, of course, we have many other kinds of art um, made uh, under Hokusai's influence uh, from many different parts of the world right up to the present. The painting that I'm showing is by one of his most famous pupils, and that is his own daughter. So her art name was Katsushika Oi. Women artists uh, were somewhat rare at this time, but of course they did exist. And usually um, for a woman to acquire those skills, it generally meant that she was a family member of another artist. And she lived with her dad uh, for the last 20 years of his life and helped him out with various projects. This painting we know is by her because it is signed. It shows three different kinds of women. This is um, a courtesan uh, who is uh, basically a sex worker, but at a very high level, very expensive, very elegant. Her social status is more like a pop star. She's a fashion setter and uh, admired for being very glamorous. She's playing a koto. The woman to the right in the gray kimono, which looks rather plain, but if you look carefully, it's a very beautiful, elegant a fabric with a pattern woven into it. This woman is a geisha. They were required by law to dress more plainly than the courtesans. The courtesans had very elaborate costumes, lots of fancy hairpins, as you see. Um, but the geisha are dressed plainly, but very elegantly. Um, and she is playing the shamisen, which is a, uh, an instrument strongly associated with geisha. And that word is sometimes used rather loosely uh, in English, but what it actually meant in context at the time uh, was an entertainer. So she is not technically a sex worker. Uh, her job is to provide music and dance and so on. And that was actually part of what went on in the very high level houses of pleasure, if you want to use the, uh, the euphemism. Um, the pleasures included things like music and dance as well as uh, actual sex, and the entertainment was provided uh, by the geisha. The third woman is someone who probably would not have interacted with the other two in real life. She is the very respectable young daughter of a, an affluent merchant class family. So a town girl, she has this, uh, this red scarf and some floral hair decorations um, and uh, again, a rather plain checked pattern on her kimono, but once again, very beautiful, lavish uh, fabric. And she is playing uh, a stringed instrument called a kokyu, which is traditionally used for a trio, uh, just as you see in the painting. This is our only, uh, the only painting by her in our collection, but it's a very beautiful one. We're so happy to have it. But happily, we do have um, a couple of other uh, works by her that you can see in the case next to the painting. We have an illustrated book that was designed by her showing different types of women. And then we have something brand new that we just recently discovered. We have a little sketchbook that turns out to have some pictures in it that are signed by her. And I particularly like the one that we're showing, uh, which is the sumo wrestling mice. Please come and have a look at these works in person. The show will be at the Seattle Art Museum until January 21st.